Hello everybody, my name is Christian or Welfare Fish or Welfare Fish or Christian, whichever one you want to put first or second, that's okay. But welcome back to the Welfare Fish YouTube channel. One could consider this the, the grand reopening, you know, if you want to consider that. Imagine the, the big cheap banner that hangs down on a store during its grand reopening or even its grand opening. You know, it's like that, that new store that opens up in like a mini strip mall that's like a falafel shop. Like that's the Welfare Fish YouTube channel right now. And be wondering what's a falafel? Look, look it up. It's, it's fine. You know what I mean? It's like a, like a food. Yeah, it's, it's like a food, but if you don't want to know more, go ahead and look it up. You know, I'm not going to tell you the history of falafels today. That's that's not really what we do here on the channel. I mean, it could be one day, but you know, that's beside the point. We're rambling. And you may be thinking, wow, he's rambling a lot. And you're right. This is not a scripted video. I tried making a scripted video, and it didn't feel right. It didn't feel welfare fish authentic. It didn't have the, the clownfish stamp of approval. And that's okay. And I know what you're all saying. Let's just get it all out of the way now. You know what I mean? Like, let's move on from that. Let's move on to the next thing. Hmm, let's think. You guys are probably all wondering, wow, this is going to be his his video that he uploads like the, for like the six month mark. You know what I mean? Like this is it, but this is all we see of him for another six months or hear from him for another six months if you're a YouTube exclusive follower, which I don't think there's a lot of you anymore at least, but who, who knows? Who knows? Or wow, this is only going to be one of his like once every three month videos or once a year videos or whatever kind of increment of time you want to throw in there. And I'm here to tell you it's not that way anymore. I'm back to making content. We're talking the streams, we're talking the YouTube videos, and we're talking the podcast. You may be wondering what podcast. It's called That's the Flavor. Go check it out either on the channel or probably at the end of this video when it pops up or in your recommended, wherever it could be. It's called That's the Flavor. There's a minute and a half long trailer out for it. If you guys have already listened to it, you guys are crazy and insane, and I appreciate you. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep moving though. We're gonna keep moving. Because you're probably also Sitting there with your with your bandolier loaded full of welfare fish memes of like it's been 84 years or the whole butterfly meme where it's like is this a welfare fish video or all of the SpongeBob time cards like three days later or more accurately considering the welfare fish YouTube channel the four thousand years later or whatever that one is from like the future episode you guys know which episode I'm talking about where Squidward's all curled up into the ball and he's like future but. Let's get a little more serious. You know, that was that was a good two and a half minute stint of just pure welfare fish crazy craziestnessness. Craziest. I God, I'm saying it wrong still. Jesus. Wow. That was like a good two minutes of welfare fish craziness. There we go. I had to take a pause and a little breath there. Which I gotta learn to start doing more. But let's get into the real meat and potatoes of this video. Not only is welfare fish back to making content. Christian is also here to make content. A lot of you guys have known my name for a while, but it's something I want to own up to a lot more of, hey, not only is this Welfare Fish, I'm still going to use that name, but also this is Christian's content as well. You know what I mean? I think having an alias is fun, but also using my real name to kind of own up to my content, I think it's going to help me in the long run as well too. Um, so that's kind of like a small little first thing, but I really want to talk about 20, the summer of 2017 when the channel started to now. And along the way, we'll also talk about streaming and where we are now with that and where the future is for the Welfare Fish channel and the Welfare Fish brand in quotations, because I hate saying brand for the simple fact of it doesn't feel like it's a brand. You know what I mean? Like it's, it, and it's not, but I feel like that's the easiest way to group all of the mediums of stuff I do together without saying all the, without listing all three of them or all, however many of them there end up being, you know? So we're just going to say brand for the sake of continuity. Con continuity Con continuity there we go let's start summer of 2017 i'm just a kid making youtube videos because i saw some other guys do it and it looked fun um wow but my youtube stuff wasn't getting as much traction as i wanted to uh, i originally made the welfare fish channel in like 2015 for like destiny stuff with buds and then i stopped doing it and i was like well i want to do this again but i want to do it with myself and be myself thing rename the channel welfare fish which is a name i stole from my friend zach and kind of started rolling with it. And then when it still wasn't getting the traction I wanted it to, and I wanted to keep growing more, I created the Gun Games with Subs series. A lot of you guys know it's kind of infamous in my channel now, especially when I'm going to talk about it here and kind of talk about why it existed. It existed because I saw somebody else do it, and I said, wow, this can probably help grow my channel. And it did. It was crazy. And honestly, the videos that I made from that were great. I loved them. They were fun videos, especially with all the new random people and stuff that were involved. They were fun content. But the reason I made them was to grow my channel faster. And by proxy, when my channel did start growing faster, 
I got scared of the numbers. Um, the numbers just started scaring me, and I was like, I don't know how to handle this growing scene. I mean, in the span of two months, maybe not even that, we went from 83 subscribers to 500. And then from there, we slowly kind of inc made our way up to 600, and then back down, and then up, and then down. And that's just met that fluctuation between like 580 and 600 is because of the years after that, like 2018, 2019, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, and that happened, and it happened because of me. And I, so I basically freaked my own self out and then stopped making content. I was like, screw it. And every time anybody asked me in the Discord or anything like that, which I don't even know if I had a Discord at that time, I may have. I don't know. Someone can remind me of that. I don't think the fishbowl was created yet. But, you know, I told everybody, don't worry. I'll be back to making content. I promise. I swear. I just need some time off. Never came back. And I may have uploaded the sporadic video here and there, but that was more of a pity video for myself. To be like, oh no, you're still gonna get back to it, don't you worry, bud. And, you know, pat myself on the back, like, wow, you made one video, you're great, you're awesome. And then I went dark. And I don't even know for how long. And that's that pause between when I went dark and the pause it was supposed to be dramatic, but it really was just awkward. You know what I mean? Like that pause right there, like 10 seconds ago, I apologize. But then we hopped on to streaming. So I was like, okay, let's get a fresh start. Let's let's go and let's move on. At this point, I still didn't really dealt with any of my content creation issues or my insecurities. I was just, you know, let's get back to making content. Let's try a new platform. So we started streaming on Mixer, mainly because my buddy, Dr. Nufton, who's a friend of mine for years now at this point, and still I consider one of my closest friends, started making content again. He was streaming. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll stream with you, man. And he found this game called Vigor and went off and did his thing. And at this point, a game called Darwin Project, which is the game you're watching in the background, which I didn't really mention. It's B-roll Darwin Project footage just from random clips and stuff that I have in random streams from recent. Um, but yeah, a game called Darwin Project came to Xbox either recently or the, literally the day I found it. And I started streaming it. And from there, things got really crazy because the game was just out. So people saw it. They were hopping to like, the little streams you can do in the Xbox Marketplace to like check out gameplay of it and ask me how the game was. And I acted like I was hot. You know what I mean? I acted like I was real cool about it. And was like, yeah, man, this game's totally cool. You know, I'm not that good at it yet, but like you should totally check it out because it's a cool game. And mind you, it is a really cool game. I love it. Um, but like I didn't really know what I was doing. I just kind of was enjoying the ride. And there were so many people coming in and out every day. I was streaming that it was crazy. And on Mixer, I went from 88 followers to another 500 in the span of from like end of July to September, October. And from there, things slowed down mainly just because like the game traction slowed down. Like you know, what I mean, it wasn't all, it wasn't really hot anymore. And it's still it, no, it wasn't. It wasn't hot. It wasn't the newest thing on the market anymore. And so at that point, things in general from all the other people streaming it on Mixer started to die down until it became five people streaming it, four people streaming it, three people streaming it, two people streaming it, one person streaming it, and that one person streaming it on Mixer was me. And occasionally there'd be a little pop-up of just some random guy like checking out streaming for the first time and he, he was just happened to be playing Darwin Project. He didn't really know what he was doing. Um, and there'd be occasional pop-ups there and that, but the one person trying to stream it consistently and grow an audience was yours truly and i mean on mixer twitch is a whole different story youtube's a whole different story and the people that are over there are amazing people and i love watching their content and hanging out in their streams um but as that kind of anger grew of being this only person and not really seeing much progress because at this point i still didn't really know what content creation fully was in the full scope of it like yeah i knew hey you make you stream or you upload youtube videos but i didn't understand the full ecosystem and environment of it yet and honestly i kind of still don't i mean i don't think anybody ever really truly does um there's a little like hot take fish wisdom for you i guess um and yeah so i kept getting mad and mad both at the game and the players in the game and the community of the game and then it turned into me getting mad at the developers and the creators of the game and blaming the issues that were happening on them which isn't cool to do and it was never cool to do i don't know why i did it and eventually at some point i made some like twit longer post on twitter that said why I'm quitting Darwin Project. And it was this big, long-winded thing talking about issues that were mainly caused by me or things that I just thought were happening but actually never were. And issues that I could fix myself. I just took the time to reach out to people and do it and reach out to other content creators. But I just never did that because my brain didn't fully understand content creation yet. Um, and again, like I, like I keep saying, it honestly still doesn't. And God, that was stupid. Um, and... I just want to say I'm sorry, like to any Darwin Project community manager, developer that saw that, to any other Darwin Project streamer or YouTuber or anybody or just community member, I'm sorry about that idiotic post blaming issues I had or things that I had made up in my head on you guys. 
and then tossing out names out there and getting more people involved than should have been just confusing people, I apologize. That was stupid and idiotic and I don't know. It, it had no right being said, but I said it anyway because I thought it would help me and it didn't. I ended up just shutting out, shutting a door on myself. At least I felt like I shut a door on myself and in ways I kind of did that I never really needed to shut because I still play the game. I still enjoy it. I never quit it. I then just stop streaming to make it look like I quit it because that way people would think, oh, wow, he quit it. He's so cool. He quit the game. But why? I, I love the game and I'm playing it now and I can't wait for release to happen. Hopefully, hopefully this week. Just letting you know, uh, Scab Studios, if you're listening, maybe this week, may maybe next week, maybe maybe the week after. I don't know when January actually ends. Calendars are hard. Um, but I'm sorry. And you guys are an amazing group of people in an amazing community. And I hope that you guys can accept me back in and allow me to make content and be a part of this community in a content creator way. And yeah, I keep saying as many, I'm gonna keep saying I'm sorry as many times as I can if I don't move on, but I am. And I apologize for the way I acted a couple months ago. And I just wanna move into 2020 with a clean slate when the game hits full release and just move on. And hopefully you guys can accept my apology and you know we can just keep making content and vibing and having a good time. My other apology goes to all of you longtime Welfare Fish subscribers. The people on Mixer are a different story, but they're also the same story of, I'm sorry I left you guys in the dark and not really with any explanation and just left you guys because of my own insecurities and my own problems. And I stopped making content and I stopped making quality content. Because, yeah, you can say, no, you uploaded a video here, but I want you guys to, to not. You guys can all agree with me that I stopped making quality content this like this when summer 2017 ended. You can go and you can watch and you can see my heart just isn't in it after a certain point, which is so stupid and I hate that that happened. Um, and I apologize for that. And I'm, I'm sorry and hopefully you guys can forgive me as well. Hopefully you guys can forgive me for trying to manipulate people into subscribing to me so I could get a higher number and then make myself a bigger channel because I had a bigger number you know what I mean hopefully you guys can forgive me for that hopefully you guys can forgive me for sometimes yelling at you guys for not doing my gun game thing perfectly or whatever because that was stupid and it was idiotic and I'm not a god to you guys I'm not better than you guys I never was and I never probably will be you know what I mean I'm just some guy making content and I just want to keep making funny content for you guys that makes you laugh and smile and have a good time um I'm kind of like, I, I, I one had to breathe and then I just kind of lost my train of thought. But I'm sorry, guys. So, and to all of you longtime people out there, like, like Wolf Eyes and Smurf and Bread and Skirtle and everybody out there who's been around for the longest time, Gold Fox for editing those videos way back in. Thank you guys for way back then. Just thank you guys for sticking around and thank you guys for bearing with me for all these years, honestly. I mean, it has been years at this point. Also, Cam for making me all those intros back then. I just thank you guys. This video is getting really long, so I want to move on to the final quick section of the video that's just talking about the future, which is 2020. Uh, or as I've been jokingly calling over some of my friends in, in DMs and just on phone calls and in conversations, the year of the fish. Um, we've got three avenues of content here to start off 2020 that I'm really looking forward to. We have my streams on Mixer with a schedule hopefully coming out soon once my semester for classes start and I can fix everything out. And also once I get an actual like schedule for uh, a show I'm in. Once I can line up all those schedules and find the time that works for me and is going to work for you guys um, as well. There's going to be YouTube videos as frequently as I can make them, you know, being busy. But I am going to make time to make YouTube content. Whether it's the top quality I want it to be right away or not, it's still going to be made and it's going to be great and enjoyable, hopefully. You know, I don't want to talk too highly of myself. Um, and yeah, there's going to be that. I'm going to be looking for an editor, you know what I mean, to go ahead and kind of help me out then. Hopefully, I'll be able to pay them. And by hopefully, I mean, I will find a way to pay them, most likely. Um, and then there's also the podcast. So that's the Flavor Podcast, which will be coming to all of your favorite podcast services and also on YouTube. And that's just a podcast where I'm going to be sitting down talking to my friends about some of the stories I've already heard, some of that you haven't heard. And it's going to be enjoyable because there's going to be different perspectives on the things that I, Christian, have done in the real world over the years and how crazy that's all been you know and i'm really excited for all of it i know it may sound like i'm not and i kind of have that weird monotone voice that i dip into um unfortunately i'm not even monotone just that deeper voice region because i do have a deep voice 
but I am excited. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for 2020. And that's just the first three projects that I know I have lined up and the things that I want to get cemented. And who knows what else is going to happen? Because uh, I don't. This video is getting really long, but hopefully, you know, if you're, if you're here to the end, I appreciate it. And yeah, I don't want to keep you guys here any longer than I have to. But this is that's the explanation I had to get off my chest talking about the YouTube future to now and also talking about streaming and everything like that. But yeah, guys, until the next video, which is going to be some Darwin Project, I can already tell you that because Darwin Project's an amazing, fun game, and I'm just excited to play more of it. But until next video, I've been Will for Fish. Thank you guys all for hanging out and listening to this video, and I will talk to you guys all next video. Remember, guys, 2020 is the year of the fish. Man, that makes me laugh saying it. But yeah, I will talk to you guys all next time. Take care, and goodbye. Man, the, okay, that goodbye was dramatic. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Take care, and goodbye.